This month, we're celebrating Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. For some Indian Americans, the hospitality industry has served as a gateway toward their version of the American dream. Asian Americans own 60 percent of hotels across the U.S., and most of them are of South Asian descent. That's according to the Asian American Hotel Owners Association. What led so many Indian Americans to join the hospitality industry and over time own thousands of hotels across the country? Here's CNBC's Seema Modi. Vinay Patel, his wife Tina, and their children lived in the first property they owned in Richmond, Virginia. For the first five years of my life, we lived in a motel. It wasn't easy, but staying on site allowed the Patels to cut costs. It's very crowded because we had members of our extended family living with us. Uh, my parents, my grandparents, myself, my uncle. That sacrifice and hustle paid off with the Patels now owning 11 hotels across Virginia and Maryland. The more hard work you did, the more money you made and the more you grew. Inspired by his father, Umar, the youngest son, majored in hospitality and recently graduated from Virginia Tech with plans to grow the family's portfolio of hotels. Expanding outside of D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, maybe you know, go down to Florida, maybe go down, go up to New York. While building a community. Another reason I really love the hospitality industry is because of the camaraderie between not just, you know, Asian Americans, but everyone. You know, as, as an Indian, you could go to a random place in Seattle or, or California and always know someone. It is a success story shared by many Indians across the nation and is one of the key ways so many were able to immigrate to the U.S. The first generation that came over here, they were kind of accidental hoteliers. Um, it was a good opportunity for them to immigrate to a new country. There was an investment scheme that allowed them to invest a certain amount of money and in return receive a path towards citizenship, which is kind of what uh, my grandfather did. Bijal's grandfather, now 101, came to the U.S. in 1976. Over time, more South Asians joined him. Once you were here and established, you were expected to pay it for, forward. So then we helped other families as well. So it was kind of this system that was kind of built in the 70s and 80s that allowed a lot of people to get here. An entrepreneurial spirit that stayed strong, allowing this community to thrive. For the news, Seema Modi.